Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this video I want to talk about a web hosting company that I'm promoting since a short time and why I love it so much. I already promoted SiteGround, I promoted Name Hero, and I promoted Hosticator in the past and I'm always looking at what is the best tool for an affordable price. So when I think about SiteGround, I love them. They're amazing. I have tons of websites, more than 100 websites at SiteGround and it's so easy to create a new subdomain to do things. The only thing I don't like is that they're quite expensive. For me, it's worth it, but I also promote it to you in my tutorials. In the latest months, I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's affordable, but the second year is so expensive and you cannot get uh, the discount for multiple years. So you cannot say, hey, I want a discount for four years. That's not possible. And the domain names are quite expensive, around $20. And it's all worth it. But if you, I'm thinking about you, a beginner in making websites, I'm like, yeah, it's a lot of money if you go for a second year. Meanwhile, I found out about Hostinger and those prices were so affordable that I always thought they must be slow. There must be something wrong with them. Otherwise, why could you be so cheap? Well, I did a lot of digging and I found out that the CEO is a smart guy and he explained how he can be so affordable and at the same time have fast websites. And not only that, you can get your discount for multiple years. And if you go for only one year of discount, the second year is still really affordable. And that's what I love about Hostinger. Besides that, you get a free domain. And if you want to, you can get your first discount, which is a really big discount of around 80% for four years. So the, the prices are, I've never seen cheaper prices in the market. And I did a lot of tests about the speed and they're not slower than SiteGround. So latest month, I've been really excited about a, a web hosting provider that fits all my needs. They're affordable and they're fast. It's easy to work with them. If you take a look at all the trends on Google in the latest five years, you see over here that Hostinger increased their popularity big time. And that's for a reason, because they're fast and they're affordable. And that is why I'm promoting them these days. I did a lot of research. I tried all their plans and I'm just really excited. With paying less than $40, you can have your own website up and running. You can buy a second domain name for six or $10, depending on what kind of domain name you want to have. So you can have 10 websites for less than $100 and all those websites will be fast. So in this video, I want to show you how you can get your own website up and running with Hostinger, how to claim your free domain name and how to create an email account with your brand new domain name. So if you want to follow along, you can go to webhosting26.com, hit enter. It's premium web hosting for an affordable price. And if you click on start now, you scroll down to four plans. Maybe it looks a little bit overwhelming, four plans, but I will show you which plan is right for you. If you start with a single WordPress plan over here, you will have one website, 50 gigabyte of SSD storage, which is more than enough and you can have up to 10,000 visits per month. However, when you get this plan, you don't get a free domain name. If you'd go for the WordPress starter plan, you pay $299 per month, you can host 100 websites. You have 100 gigabyte of SSD storage, which is more than enough and really fast. And you can have up to 25,000 visits per month. And with this plan, you get your first domain completely for free. And that makes this deal the best one for beginners. Keep in mind that you can always upgrade later. So if you really want to get started with your first website, this plan is great for you. If you plan to create 10 web shops in your first year, I definitely suggest you go with a business WordPress plan. You have more SSD storage and you can have more visitors. And if you want to start an agency, create 50 websites in the first year, I definitely suggest you go with the cloud startup. And this is crazy. $9.99 per month. And you can host tons of websites and they all will be blazing fast. And this is really affordable. And that's what I love about Hostinger. They're fast and they're affordable. I don't go with this plan. I go with the WordPress starter plan. I want to create my first website. I get a free domain. I have enough SSD storage and I can have up to 25,000 visits per month. If you reach that, I hope you do. Then you can always upgrade later to the next plan. So you can have up to 100,000 visits per month. And here you can have unlimited visitors per month. So I choose the WordPress starter plan and then look at this. If you'd go for four years of web hosting, you just pay $2.99 per month and you can have up to 100 websites. That's a really nice deal. If you want to go for a shorter cycle, for instance, for 24 months, you can click here or click here. If you want to go for 12 months, you pay $2.99 per month. After that, you start to pay $9 per month, which is still really affordable in my opinion. If you want to get the maximum discount, you can choose 48 months. And after that, you start to pay $7 per month. Well, the only difference is $2, but what I can do, I can scroll down. If you go to coupon code, do you have a coupon code? You can click over here, fill in 30, apply it. And if you would go for just 12 months of web hosting for your first period, you just pay 
$39.07 and you get your free domain name. So you can get started for less than $40. That's a really nice offer. And if I scroll up again, you see the discount over here. After a year, start to pay $9 per month, but you can also choose to go for a longer period of discount. If you go for 24 months, you pay $78. And if you would go for four years, you would pay $156 for four years. Well, I will go for the 12 month plan. And then over here, I need to fill in my details. So I will choose my email address to create an account. Or you log in with Facebook or Google. Then you can pay with credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, and CoinGate. And depending on where you come from, I come from the Netherlands, you have multiple payment methods, which are local. So if I'm from the Netherlands right now, it's the English website. But if I would go to the Dutch website, I see ideal. If you come from India, you'll see a payment method that is used in India. So Hostinger got you covered. So what I can do, I can pay with credit card. So I'll fill in my details over here. And then I click over here to submit secure payment. And we will be redirected to the control panel. So there we are. I need to create a password. So let's do that. I need to confirm my password and I click on confirm. Congratulations with your free domain name and web hosting. Now let's install WordPress. Then I click on start now. And I want to skip this area. I want to create a new website. So I click on create a new website. I click on select. And I want to use WordPress. I don't need to add WooCommerce. I want to have my administrator email, this one, and I create an administrator password. Of course, you need to remember that when you log into your WordPress website and I click on continue. I can install a certain theme, but I don't need that. So I click on, I don't need a template. I want to claim my free domain by clicking here and my desired domain name it will be a .com domain name is 30 is happy. I click on search, see if it's still available. I guess there are more people in the world that are named 30 and that are happy, but it's still available. I click on continue and I click on finish setup. So far, so good. Now I need to select a few options. From which country am I? I'm from the Netherlands. I can use it for personal or company. Let's go with personal. I click on next step and I need to fill in my details. 30. I'm from South Holland. My slice, my address. And I need to leave my phone number. Wait, I need to have a space over here. I click on finish registration. Now you see nothing. So you need to scroll up and then you see 30 is happy is being registered. So over here you see the progress. SSL is installed automatically. So automatically your website will be secure. So that uh, saves me for an extra step that I normally would have to do manually. So I can do two things. I can edit my website. Or I can go to the hosting or control panel. Well, let, let's click on edit the website. And look at this. Look at this. 30ishappy.com is already active. This is crazy. It's active immediately. So what I like to do personally, I like to keep things clean on my website. Right now, the website comes with a lot of plugins. So if I would go to plugins, I see all those plugins over here. I don't need those. So before I, I go over this place and you're like, what is this? Well, I'm so overwhelmed. Well, let me tell you that this is the backend of the website. This is where we will configure our website at pages, at images, create blog posts, add plugins, adjust things. And then when you click over here, you see the front end of your website. This is what people will see when they go to 30ishappy.com. So our website is live immediately. I'm not skipping anything. We are live. Then I go to settings, permalinks, and I make sure that when I go to a page, it will not be displayed like this, but I prefer post name. It's so much better. So if I have a blog post called 30 goes to Australia, I'll go to 30ishappy.com forward slash 30 dash will dash go dash to dash Australia forward slash instead of this. 
because Google likes it, likes it when you have uh, post names. It, it will be found better. So I click on save the changes. So this is how our website looks right now. We can make it look better. It's not secure yet. So let's go to the back end. Now I want to go to settings general and I want to create an S over here. HTTPS, HTTPS. I can change the time to Amsterdam, for instance. And if, uh, if you're in a certain city or a big city in your neighborhood, uh, would search for that city and make sure your time zone is okay. The date format, I'm okay with that. And the time format, I want it to be in AM and PM with capitals. Save the changes. And I need to log in again with my email address and my password, which I have created. Now my website is secure. It can be that you see something like this. In that case, you need to have some patience. And meanwhile, what we can do, we can go to our email account that we use to sign up for Hostinger. And then I see Titan email. I click on it and I can create an email account. So also over here, I can go to the control panel to emails. And I want to see over here, I can have uh, an email address using a certain name and then at ferdyshappy.com. For instance, info or ferdy at ferdyshappy.com. How do I need to do that? I click on manage. And I click on free email, select. And I name this one info at ferdyishappy.com. Make this email account an admin, yes. I create a password and a password recovery address. I click on create a new account and I can access my webmail. Info at Ferdy's happy, my password, login. I need to confirm my password recovery email. So I click on confirm. Or you click on, I'll do this later. Look at this. I have my welcome email at info at ferdyshappy.com. Now, if I go to my email account, I send an email to info at ferdyishappy.com. Test. And I send it. There it is. And I can reply like that. So I have access to my webmail. Now, let me show you how you can put your email account on your own computer. And the same principles can be applied to put it on Mac Mail or Microsoft Outlook or on your phone. I'm looking to my phone right now. I'm seeing myself. See if I'm sharp, still sharp. So uh, let me show you how to do that. So what I can do. I can go to Hostinger. I can log in. I can go back to emails, manage. What I want to do, I want to configure my email account on my computer using Mac Mail. You can also use it for Outlook. It works the same way. What I need to do over here, I go to configure a desktop app. And I want to go for IMAP. What does it mean? When you configure it as IMAP, when you delete an email through Mac Mail, it will also be deleted on your phone and on your web mail. So everything is synced with each other. With POP, it's not synced. With IMAP, it is synced. So if I configure this on my phone, on my tablet, and on my computer, when I flag it somewhere, it will be flagged everywhere. So let me show you how to do that. First, of course, we need to use our email address. So I go to Mac Mail. I go to Mail, Add Account. I want to go for another mail account. Continue. Of course, the name will be Ferdy is happy. The email address is this one. The password, which I have created for this email account. And then I click on Sign In. I use my username, which is also info at 30 is happy.com. I go for IMAP and then the incoming mail server. Let me see is IMAP.titan.email. So I paste it here and my outgoing mail server is smtp.titan.email. Sign in. I only want to synchronize all my emails. So I click on done. And there it is. 30 is happy. Now, if I send an email from info at 30 corpsook to info at 30 is happy that come sent from Mac mail. A 30 is happy. And I send it from info at 30 corpsook.com to info at 30 is happy that come. Look at this. 
there it is. Sent from Ferdi Korpsuk. Now I'll send it back. Thank you. Send it. And now I see it over here. Ferdi is happy. I send it back. Now let me show you the power of IMAP. If I go to my webmail, so I go back to home, email accounts, over here, access webmail. I log in. Look at this. Over here, I have this email. I can click on it. I can give it a star. Or this one. I have this email over here. If I mark this one as flagged, so now it has a red flag. Look at this. Now I have a star. So I have a star or a flag. So what if I do over here or over here will happen to all my email accounts because through IMAP, they are synced. So if I click on unstar and I go to my mail, it is unstarred. If I remove it over here and I go to my Mac mail, it is also removed over here. So everything is in sync with each other. The same thing you can do for your phone. Go back to configure desktop app, fill in your details, your email address, your password, your incoming server and your outgoing server and you will be good to go. So what you will have, you will have your own domain name, which is free, which is crazy. You will have your own web hosting. You can install WordPress, create an amazing website and send emails and receive emails on your webmail or Outlook and on your phone. Thank you for watching this tutorial. So now a whole new journey begins. You can start to create your website. I have tons of tutorials on how to create different kinds of websites on how to create a blog post so you can make money with your website, on how to create a website for your business using different page builders, how to sell things on the internet, how to create a social media website, how to start with affiliate marketing. The sky is the limit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And thanks to you if you bought uh, web hosting through my affiliate link, web hosting one to six, I get a commission. So thank you for that. That helps me to make those tutorials. I also like to make those tutorials. So I'm happy you're happy with your web hosting provider. Hope so, hopefully, and good luck with making an amazing website. If you have any question, let me know in the comments and I will make a more in-depth tutorial about hosting where I will show you everything you need to know. And if you want to be the first one that sees the video, then please subscribe. Thank you and bye bye.